now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. How are you? Good to have you here, and uh, nice to see you. Boy, I'm out of sync like crazy. Well, kind of. Uh, yeah, uh, I've got to. Um, I've got to reset. I've got to redo. Um, I've got to tr- uh, end my. If uh, Phil is listening, uh, uh, just uh, I've got to restart my uh, my Zoom. Uh, because it's, uh, I got a, there we go, it's a little, little less out of sync now. I don't get it. It's just completely out of sync. Oh, well, I give up. I give up. I give up. Um, okay, well, uh, who knows? Who knows why this is? Oh, boy. These things just, it just, it just gets to me after a while. Uh, let me t- end it again. If you're listening, Phil, you'll have to start up again. Okay. All right. So I'm looking okay now, and I'm. Uh, uh, let me uh, let me just turn this on. Oh wait a minute. I'm not going to do that. Not going to do that. Okay. Here we go. We'll start it again. Let's see now. Well, it's a little better. I don't know. Anyway, it's uh, it's ridiculous, and I don't know why these things happen and why it's so screwed up. And you know, I just give up on it. Uh, but the Zoom is causing me a problem tonight. But anyway, uh, let's uh, let's bring in an old friend here, and we'll just hope that this uh, this uh, has a tendency to work out okay. Let me see here. Um, uh, there he is. And also, I have to change the view to gallery. There we go. All right. And there's Phil. Hey, how you doing, yeah, Mr. Okay. Al? Well, yeah, I'm, for some reason, we're, we're, I'm out of sync. Well, uh, just pretend it's a Japanese movie and it's dumb. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. could be. Now, wait a minute. Maybe I could kill my, maybe I could kill my camera. If I went you, to another camera, you want me to call on Skype? Hmm? You want me to call on Skype? Yeah, don't what? call on Skype. This is going to be this way for the whole show. Uh-huh. Uh, let me see here. Uh, let me change this for a second. And All then right. let me bring this back again. Let me see. There we go. There. All right. Uh, That's better. I, I think we're in sync. I think I'm a little bit more in sync. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's okay. Better to be in sync than in the tub. Yeah, well, you know, I don't get it. I just don't get it. Uh, yeah. So, uh, b- whatever. Um, uh, well, I, I had a good time yesterday. Yes, yeah, so tell them about your good time, Phil. Uh, I didn't feel good. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, there was a little voice in the back of my head uh, yesterday morning that said, you know, all I need is to not do anything about it stroke out or uh have a heart attack Mm -hmm. and uh you know uh, all my friends will be standing over the coffin saying well why didn't he just do something about it he knew he didn't feel good Mm -hmm. so uh, i uh went to kaiser Uh, i worked until about two o'clock and uh then i I drove to kaiser Mm -hmm. and i talked to my cardiologist and i said hey how uh how can I speed up that test, that uh, treadmill test with the contrast? Oh, they didn't. They didn't do the thing with giving you the shot, did they? Yeah, they did. It makes your heart uh, go like a little bunny rabbit. Much better than the treadmill, right? Well, now. well, much better than the treadmill because both of us are not treadmill people. Yeah, I know, especially me okay. right now. Yeah. So, so, but anyway, uh, anyway, they give you that shot, and it just—I thought it would drive me nuts. I thought I was having a heart attack. Really, I I didn't think it was that bad. It, my my heart rate went from like sixty something to ninety something. Mine I went to I think eight hundred or nine hundred. I, 
I don't know. <laughs> I felt but, like it. But I it felt. Say. I felt like I was going to have a heart attack when they did it. Yeah, I, you know? I got a little flush, and that was it. You know, maybe the the shot they give you at Kaiser is watered down. But uh, you know what? Uh, what I did was mm-hmm. uh, I, I went in there and not thinking that it w- I, they'd keep me overnight. Mm-hmm. But they said, "Oh no! If you come in and you're telling us that your chest uh, is um, uh, uh, tight." Mm-hmm. And uh, you don't feel good. You're staying. We're monitoring you, and we'll give you the test in the morning. We don't want to. Le- we don't want you leaving here dead because you might sue us. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I, it'd be a hard time, uh, hard to sue. But mm-hmm. uh, so anyway, uh, they kept me overnight. Mm-hmm. Uh, they didn't have any rooms, so I stayed in the uh, middle of the COVID den. I was in the ICU. Oh, good. <laughs> and there was no TV, but luckily I had my telephone with me mm-hmm. and um, I uh, I called Faye and I had her bring me a couple of sandwiches and I had her bring me the charging cable. Mm-hmm. So I, yeah. I was I was OK. What I forgot to tell her was to bring me a fresh pair of underwear oh, wow. and, and and a toothbrush. <laughs> I would have been a lot more comfortable with that. So uh, and between them poking and prodding at two in the morning and then at five in the morning and uh, taking blood and uh, all of those things. They wake but, you up in the middle of the night to take blood. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah, did they that for me. Up, when, I had this, when I had the kidney stones, it was like, Mr. Bennett, it's three o'clock in the morning. Are you have you been having a nice sleep? Uh? Here, we've got to take your blood. Oh, my God. Ugh. You know, I mean, what? At 10 o'clock. No, they, they had to do it at 2. They had to do it at so, 2. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, anyway, um, I go through all the tests, yeah. and they said everything looks pretty normal. Mm-hmm. But uh, because I did have a treadmill the week before, yeah. and uh, there was some abnormality, mm-hmm. uh, I wanted to speed up the nuclear test, which they nuclear, uh, nuclear, nuclear. Yeah. Nu- nuclear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, that's, that's when, and now this is, this is when they, I had, I had this too. That's when they made my heart go like a little bunny rabbit. Then they, they stick uh, uh, radiation into you. You're, you're yeah. I don't know, you t- yeah. Uh, isotopes or something. And then they go and check your heart. You know? Yeah. 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 And then I, they I tell you some did, machine. Do they give you the speech about don't get near pregnant women for 24 hours or something like no, that? No, no, they the Cuz you are radioactive. Maybe, yeah? Yeah. Well, maybe that's why the thing's out of sync. <laughs> that could be. Yeah. You fucked so, up my show just because you're radioactive. Yeah, exactly. I, you know, back in the camel days, I had a sign that I put in the back window of my car mm-hmm. that said radioactive. It was one of those truckers signs. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, when I parked in the parking lot there, uh, who, who was the PD? Uh, what was I, his name? I, you know, I can't remember the PD. He had a red name. Ferrari. Yeah. Uh, oh, 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 Bobby Cole. Bobby Cole. Okay. Bobby yeah, Cole. he said, hey, that, that's, that's cool. I like that. Radioactive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that wasn't so, that was a BMW he had. I thought it was a Ferrari, no, didn't it? It was a BMW. On, on BMW. Trade? No, with, B, uh, BMW. Uh, no, BMW. I oh, know Bailey because Kennedy? he just loved his BMW, you know. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Well, I uh, I don't know. So a- anyway, yeah. Uh they give me the test and then they said, "Hey, you know, there's something there, but it's not big enough for us to stent." So you're going home, talk to your, uh, talk to your cardiologist, mm-hmm. and we're going to give you this pill that will cause your arteries to increase in size rather yeah. than stench you. Yeah, that was my big joke I used to have. They, I'd say, doctors would say, gee, uh, your, uh, your cholesterol's a little up, but do you eat a lot of fat and stuff? I said, yeah, but I don't have a problem. I got wide arteries. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going to would- have them now as soon as I take that pill in the morning. So, uh, but anyway, yeah, there was a lady in uh, the next room. This is how room. many pills now that you're taking? Uh, uh, say again? This is how many pills now you're taking? I've lost track. It's, yeah. it, it, it's yeah. a cup full. Yeah, we were talking about this the other day, about yeah. how many pills you wind up taking after a while, because after one doctor, another doctor, you finally have this. I, I've got this thing. It's like uh, I, I have to, I, can, I try to get it all in my mouth at the same time. Yeah. Uh, always one I, pill gets away like it wants to go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah don't take me. Don't swallow me. Now, I have to fool myself and eat something along with the pills 
to get them down because I'm a big baby. Yeah. Uh, oh, I, I'm good at taking pills. It's never been a problem with me. Well, listen, anyway. listen, I got to tell you, this is what old people talk about. I was talking. Was I, was woman, talk, I was talking to Marjorie tonight. You know what old people do in bed together now? They fart. Scars. They fart. Oh yeah, of course. Did I, you know? And then she's got her her bottle of of spray, and I've got my bottle of spray, and it's kind of like I don't know. We're in rhythm with each other. You know. I had a friend, and he used to say, "I'd ask him. I said, you go out with the most beautiful women. Why do you break up with them after two weeks?" He says. After two weeks, uh, feel comfortable enough honey, to fart. Yeah, the honeymoon is over. They start farting in front of you. So he says, "I'm done. I get rid of them." And I, and, you know, they're like streetcars. Another one comes by. I never minded a woman farting. It just yeah. never bothered me. But you know, most of them like to deny they did it. Yeah. Well, I always blame the dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. The dog did it. Dog yeah. ate my homework. The dog yeah. farted. Hey, just uh, uh, I, I've been meaning to ask you, mm -hmm. you know, with what's going on in the news, mm -hmm. what do you think of Cuomo and his uh, and how he's handling this uh, uh, this deal where he's been? Uh, well, I think everybody's I think everybody's piling on him because he was the poster child for how you should do this, and then all of a sudden you see he fucked up somewhere along the line. And it was not a good fuck up, but it, it, it in some ways his explanation has been pretty logical. It's just they don't run the whole explanation. I was watching the news today, and at one point in his speech, he said something to the effect of, "Well, I don't care how many people, you know, whether it's one, if if a single person dies of COVID, if it's one or it's a hundred, it's too many." But they cut off the "it's too many." You know, so it sounds like he's going, oh, you know, it's OK with me if you all die. But you know? why are the Democrats piling on him? Uh, you know, I think, for, again, for political reasons, I think they see him as a uh, as a detriment to their future. You know, he's standing yeah. in the way. He's got such a high, heavy personality. And I really don't think, you know, I mean, I, I, I heard his his mea culpa, as it were. And I, I thought it was, you know, I, I, I mean, I've been a little mad at him lately anyway, because I think he's handling this whole thing in yeah. New York wrong. Uh, I'll give you a good example. Um, the, the big deal is that, uh, what did he say? Um, uh, he wants, uh, he, he's opening it up to more people to get yeah. shots. Uh, so if you sign up, maybe you get one by September. I don't know. But the fact is, you know, there there should be a pecking order. We should, if an old person comes along and is 75 and over and he wants it and he didn't get it yet, he shouldn't have to wait till September to get it. He should be put to the front of the line so over, over somebody with a comorbidity of which a comorbidity could be something like smoking or alcoholism yeah. or um, uh, obesity. You know things which you which people can control, all right. You can't control being seventy five, yeah. And so I just think that what he did is he oh, ruined, yes, you can. he ruined the whole pecking order. He didn't say, okay, we got all the seventy fives now, we got all the sixty fives now, we can go to the comorbidities. You know, but no, yeah, as, and, long, hmm? as long as he doesn't get the Hasidic Jews. Oh yeah, they love they or they're, no, they're, they're, they're a piece of work. They don't want to take the uh, the, the uh, thing anyway, although there was somebody given shots. And uh, uh, who went after them? The mayor? Uh, um, uh, uh, yes, they were giving shots. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they were getting ahead of the head of the line. That's right. You know. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I noticed with Cuomo, he has a tell. When he starts, when, when he's trying to cover up or uh, uh, dance around, he starts talking very slow, like you're like you're retarded. Oh, no, 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 he or, talks slowly all the time. He, uh, it gets he, even in, slower. In a way, if you listen to him day in and day out, you know he's like very methodical and overexplains everything. You know, um, yeah. But I mean, I like what he did when, in the middle of the crisis. I think he saved my life, for instance. I think he saved the lives of a lot of people. Did he push you out of the way of an oncoming train? No, no. I think that, you know, that he got everybody in line, 
putting on masks, uh, doing what they had to do. And we brought that, that curve, that peak, we just made it drop. You know, yeah. and, a, and a lot of it was his speeches every day and his nudging and his doing what he had to do. And so well, I really, I, I have to give him credit for that. I think that how he handled the, uh, the, the uh, nursing homes, it was just uh, that he lied about the numbers. He, it's not that people, no. you know, that, what? I was right when I said there was 14,000. Remember several months ago? Yeah. I said yeah. it was 14,000. You said, no, 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 that's not the number. And well, that, uh, wasn't, that wasn't the number at the time. Okay. Now we find out in retrospect that there has been a number. Okay. Yeah. And uh, uh, that number is, uh, you know, 15. uh, about 15,000. Yeah. Um, but it, it, you know, I mean, he said he did it because he did, they, they also, they didn't want the, uh, the, you know, the Trump administration to come down on them and, and take Find away, out. and yeah. take away funding and things like that. Although they weren't going to give him funding anyway, you know, Well, I think they did, but you know, uh, California and Florida mm -hmm. are, are running about neck and neck based on the per capita population mm -hmm. on cases and deaths. Yeah. Uh, so, but Florida has opened everything up and California has locked everything down and their results are about the same. So do you think that the lockdowns were actually worth the, uh, the, the effect that they've had? You know, I really can't answer that one. Uh, I, I think every state is different. All the social uh, aspects of each state is different. And uh, I don't know what the what the reason for that is. Um, yeah. You know, I mean, um, there are certain states, you know, that have less of a, of, a, of a situation than other states. I mean, Massachusetts has been kind of low, you know, yeah. overall. Why? Why necessarily lower in Massachusetts per capita? Yeah. Than say in in uh, in California, it, it's just that there's some. Well, it, it, I think it has to do. To begin with, it had a lot to do with the fact that people got on board it with mitigating the circumstances by wearing masks and by social distancing and so on and and going with the rules. So it could be that in well in Florida they're not going by the rules. Florida's crazy. I mean, you got a good point there. I don't know what the difference would be. You know. And, you know, I'm just noticing that the, the effect is the same. Mm -hmm. uh, but in, in Texas, you see, I'm, I'm going all over the country now. Mm -hmm. In Texas, they've eliminated COVID. Everyone's freezing to death. Yes, everyone. <laughs> uh, yeah, everyone's freezing to death. Uh, it, you know, I mean, it's uh, uh, we are, the numbers have gone down. You know, they've gone down a lot, but they've gone down a lot because we're past that Christmas, New Year, Thanksgiving period. Kwanzaa, too. OK. Yeah. And uh, so now we, then we had all then the spike went up and so on. And now it's going back down again. You know? Yeah. And it's. Uh, uh, well, uh, now you I you know, I got my second shot, so I felt pretty good about going into the hospital. Yeah, fuck you. But I didn't feel really good when this morning I overheard I was in number 10 mm -hmm. and the lady in number number 11 who was screaming all night. Mm -hmm. uh, they said I overheard the nurse say you got to do a covid scrub down <laughs> on number 11. <laughs> so, oh, geez. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad you got your shot, but fuck you. You know, yeah. I haven't gotten my shot. So fuck me. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I didn't even leave the room. Yeah. I, I was so afraid of bumping into somebody that was COVID positive that, uh, uh, I, you know, when they were taking me down, I said, hey, let me off the gurney. I got to use the I got to evacuate. Uh, the, yeah, well, you know. you know, they're going to go. They're going to say, uh, 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 you know, I'm going to go there. Uh, what's a week from Saturday is my yeah. shot. And I'll get there. And probably just five minutes before I go there, they said we ran out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that if you have an appointment and they don't cancel it, mm -hmm. I don't think they've run out. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm pretty sure you're going to get it. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope so. You know, that would be nice. I'm just not crazy about the fact that you have to wait outside mm -hmm. uh, in that draconian line 
Uh, well, that, well, you know, I don't know if there's a line anymore. You know, it, <laughs> that that day they said the reason there was a line was because they got started late. So the line was backing up and backing up and backing up, so they were running behind. I'm going to go there this week on Saturday and see what the line's like and see if it's any better. You know? Yeah. So Just dress. If, if it is worse or the same, just dress for it. And, oh, uh, yeah. You know, I mean, I've got to, we've got to wait in line, you know, because we've got to get the shot. Yeah. Maybe you can bring one of those portable folding chairs or something, you know. No, so I, I'm not, I can stand you know, I'm not that I'm not that far gone. Well, you can pay somebody to stand in oh, the line been, for you. I've been double masking lately. Yeah, me too. And then I've been tr- taking a walk down to get stuff, and I come back. I can't breathe after a while. Yeah, because the uh, double masking is just killing me. I still like those comfort masks. Uh, they're mm. they're they're comfortable, and they do the job of mm. uh, of keeping your spittle from hitting someone else. Yeah. And uh, but they're comfortable and I can breathe through them. Mm-hmm. And uh, unless it's really cold out, yeah, uh, they don't fog my glasses. But if there's enough disparity between my breath and the and the ambient temperature, then well, it, I yeah, you just I double, double mask because they say that if you double mask, your uh, your effective protection is ninety seven percent. So it's better yeah. than getting the shot. Well, it's you like know. the N ninety five. But I can't breathe through the N95. Uh, also, it hurts. Yeah. It, because it just is so tight around your face that it, you know. Uh, well, you know that's uh, that's uh, you know the 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 problem. Hopefully, in the future, we won't be wearing masks. But I, I don't know. I I I think it's going to be another year. Yeah. Uh, well, I think we're we're going to be wearing masks for another year. And uh, also, one of the guys in the hospital said, "You you're probably." It's going to there'll be a time mm-hmm. when you're going to have to get a covid shot and a flu shot every year. So, uh, you know, this is uh, this is just the beginning. So covid well, is I, gonna... I think there's going to be a time when covid isn't a factor, but there'll probably be something else. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, I know they eradicated polio. They eradicated uh, tuberculosis. Mm-hmm. I, I don't see why they can't eradicate. Well, this uh, is different. Those, the, the, this is different than those. You know, polio, polio was a slightly different. I know it was a, there was a virus involved, but it wasn't. It was just different. It was just different. Yeah. Uh, but we wiped it out, you know, so we could probably wipe this thing out, too. Quickly, yeah. uh, what do you think of Mitch McConnell? Uh, you mean uh, turning on Trump? <laughs> turning on trump uh well trump had some uh choice words for mitch mcconnell yeah uh, i always thought that mitch mcconnell was a uh because of his ties to china through yeah. his wife mm-hmm. and the amount of money that china had mm-hmm. given uh his campaign yeah. in order to get him elected mm-hmm. i i had a feeling that mitch mcconnell wasn't a true trump supporter you know that uh, he would support whoever. Well, I, I think I think he he's more he cares more about the Republican Party, and he sees uh, Trump as a threat to the Republican Party at this. Uh, point. Oh, definitely, Trump. Yeah. If he runs again, or even says he's going to run again, I think there's going to be a, a split uh, 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 in the Republican Party. Um, I don't see Trump running again, though, but I do see him supporting uh, certain people. Uh, and not supporting others. Hmm. Does Hitler have a son? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I all I'm saying is that that uh, Mitch really seems that he, I, part of the thing is is that the Republican Party is losing a lot of money because yeah. a lot of the corporate sponsors are are pulling out because of what went on, and uh, I think Mitch wants to keep them in the fold. He wants yeah. to keep them happy. You know. Uh, you know that uh, uh, Mandalorian Disney character woman. Mm-hmm. She put it pretty uh, pretty correctly, where she said that what the government is doing is they're trying to split the people, you know, racially, uh, economically, and and they do that. Well, they always have gain power, but they always have. Yeah, well, that's have. and, and, that, and isn't she, that's, that isn't what she said. That isn't what she said, and I'm still trying to figure out whether what she said was wrong or not. You well, know. she said that the Jews were being uh, used as the Nazis. To, no, no, to no. The, what she hate. said was that the Jews, okay, 
were uh, the, the people who were against the Jews the most were not the Nazis, but the average citizen who empowered the Nazis to be able to do what they did. I don't know that that's a wrong assessment. Uh, you know? It wasn't. It wasn't uh, Hitler and. Well, the I Nazis. think what she was trying to say is nobody can get get away with this kind of thing unless they have the public with them, and that the Nazis would have not been capable of killing all these Jews if they didn't feel they had the people on their side. That's uh, an interesting. Now point. I have to admit, as Jews, we are annoying. So, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, well, and, and my feeling has always been that you know, if Hitler had met up with you, he would have killed you and being happy with that and freed oh. all the rest of the Jews. You know. Well, Bell Barth used to say, uh, "How if the Jews are the chosen people, why don't they just choose somebody else once in a while? Yeah, exactly. exactly. Hey, good talking to you, my friend. Always right. fun, and I'm glad to hear you're, you're healthy and you're not dying. Marjorie had a heart scare last week, so. Really? Uh, yeah, and then she went to her doctor, who's a cardiologist, our doctor. And uh, he gave her every test going and said, you didn't have a heart attack. So somebody then on the show said, do you think maybe she had an anxiety attack? Is she anxious about anything? And I said, a shot? <laughs> yeah. Me? Uh, anyway, I'll talk hey. to you later, my friend. All right. You take care. Ladies have a good and job. gentlemen, there he goes. There's Phil Meyer. Okay. Good. Well, what, why did the, what, what, what did that happen? Why did that happen? That was strange, too. Oh, see, I reset this thing, and, and, and it's kind of like, okay, and then I put my, oh, I know why, what the problem was. I see. Okay. All right. I, you know, it, it, these things never, never make much sense to me. And once again, my, phone, my, my uh, camera is, uh, is, is falling behind. I've got a, I, I made some new settings today is what the problem is. And uh, uh, because I made some new settings, uh, these new settings probably are what's screwing everything up. Okay, all right. Well, anyway, we'll just we'll just let it uh, let it uh, do what it does. Let me see here. Let me admit there are only two people waiting to come on. I think a lot of our people are not around tonight because uh, they are um, uh, having problems with uh, snow and sleet and everything else uh but uh now once again i've got this problem i don't know what it is i think i have to i'm gonna have to do something about this folks uh tell you the truth say i'll go to this camera and this camera is fine hmm that's amazing okay well uh, then i'll go back to the other camera and we'll see what happens okay there we go and now we're fine okay Anyway, let's go. Let's go to the Zoom panel here. There they are. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm having some, I'm having some problems tonight. I think probably because I uh, I am uh, 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 I, I changed some settings to kind of make the video really really pop, and I think I have to change back to some other settings so so that I don't. Uh... Have you heard from Charlie? No, I haven't heard from Charlie. Yeah, so during the Monday show, I remember he missed the one Monday because he forgot it was on. So I text, I, I messaged him Monday, mm -hmm. and then uh, no answer, and I messaged him last night, and no answer. So I don't know if he has power. Well, I had a woman who wrote me who said, gee, I I'm, I'm really feel bad about, uh, about uh, uh, Charlie not being there. Why don't you call him and see if he's okay? Mm -hmm. Well, wow. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, the, the snowstorms are really horrible there. I'm going to change. Fact, to, I'm going to change. Massive to power mind. losses and all mm -hmm. kinds of stuff like that. And yeah, you know, I'm going to change so. to my other camera. That way, I'm I I'll, I'll be in sync all the time. Okay. Okay. And, well, you look older with the other camera, but that's okay. It doesn't look bad, does it? Doesn't look no. bad at all. No. It's nice to have a uh, a camera that focuses finally. A, a real webcam sit in my office which is a mess but uh it's better than sitting in the kitchen on that stupid laptop that yeah but i don't i don't set those things for focusing you know i well yeah i i let it do whatever it's going to do automatically yeah um, yeah speakers are a lot better on this computer of course the hard drive is about ready to die on this computer and so i'll probably be back to the laptop when this is in for repair soon yeah 
But uh, here, here's Jeff Stein. Hello, Jeff. How are you? That way, I'm, I, Jeff. I'll, I'll oh, here we go. Jeff, turn down your audio. Mm -hmm. It, 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 turn down the audio from the video. You don't want to watch the video, Jeff. Yes, sir. Just turn it off. Just kill it. Just, just, are you, you're watching the show, right? Why don't you just stop where you're watching it? There you go. No, it's still on. Automatically. All you have to do is click on uh, what, what, what would he click on? Just uh, uh, there's a button. There's got to be a button there that it says stop. Hi, everybody. Close okay. the browser. Yeah, go to your browser. Can you? Hi. Hello, Jeff. How are you? See. Oh boy. Oh, uh, Jeff, you got to learn how to do this. You know. Turn down the audio from the video. Okay, okay, <laughs> Jeff. I'm sorry. I can't. I'm I can't take this, Jeff. Oh, we got Robert. Just kill it. <laughs> well, that ended uh, that. You, you're watching. I think, I think it hit the wall. Alex, you can mute him, right? I, I can mute him, but all yeah, he's got to do is if he's got if he's watching it on YouTube, just kill the browser you're watching it on. What would he click on? Just. Uh... Yeah. Uh, there's a button. There's got to be a button there that it says stop. Hmm. Go to your browser. What do you know? We found it. <laughs> Did you find it, Jeff? I hear it now. Uh, okay. I don't see shit. How do we? My favorite one. It's all right. Uh, <laughs> that's my favorite one. Yeah. What? Yeah. What did you say is your favorite one? Oh, uh, we're we're doing the the shadow shadow animals. Shadow overnight. animals. Okay. Why? Not to entertain ourselves during Jeff's. I think Jeff just, just disappeared. He went somewhere. Oh, here, oh there here, we go. Here comes oh, Pam. Jeff, you look so beautiful now. Yeah. Wow. Pa what Pamela, change. he got. Jeff, uh, I love what you've done with your hair. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can see us. That's so funny. I don't know what he did. He can't see you guys. Mm. You can't see us. All you have to go to wherever Zoom is, and you can see us. Yeah, I don't know why he's got YouTube up. He does this every night. How do I sound? Am I too loud or what? No, you're fine. You're fine. Okay. I, I don't know how to. Well, I, I don't know what the problem is with this camera I'm using. I got I, I got it so that it's uh, it's uh, uh, it's tuned up to being high pitched, me? and it, uh, it 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 what happens is I constantly have to. Uh, um, where is it? Uh, camera. If I go to if I go to this other camera, the Brio, which is the good camera. Oh, now it's okay. Now we're now we're in sync. Okay. Colors and shapes. What? Uh, blue. What? Color the bird and the berries blue. Are we showing different things here? Where's the? <laughs> I I was gonna read. You oh, want to read? <laughs> Wait a minute. What happened to? What happened to Lar Larkin? Oh. Uh, I, I screwed it up. I got to go to my security things and put the camera back on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, where, 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 where's the ro rope? I'm going to kill myself. We need to make the show an hour and a half again and just take a half yeah. hour for everybody yeah. to get on and then we yeah. start at eight. Yeah, well, I've just been having troubles uh, tonight with this camera. I've got I've to change some settings again so that, you know. Well, it's it, it's not restricted to just you. No, it's not restricted to just me. But I I'm I've got to uh, I've got to change some things with the camera. I think so. the settings are fine from here. Yeah. Well, now they're now I'm fine too. But this one camera I have is very high def, and somehow in in uh, Zoom it was like going out of sync. I can't figure out why. And the other night I was talking, I did a late, we, we do a thing on Saturday with, uh, with uh, Kevin and with uh, Patrick and with Josh. We just talk to each other, you know. And I have a thing here that resets my... Uh, well, you have to go to... Oh, re reset, resets my uh, um, uh, camera uh, camera. memory. And yeah. uh, by yeah. doing that, I, when I turn it on and had it scrub the memory... 
All of a sudden, I freeze, and then I slow down. And then after it's through doing it, I'm back to good speed again. So, you know, it's very strange. Uh, let's see here. We're going to bring Larkin in now. Let's see what happens with him. Here we go, and I don't think we're going to see anything. We're, we're not seeing anything, John. That's my... Uh, uh, John? Yeah. I can't yeah. see anything. We can't see Turn on the lights. Doing well, the lights are on, man. For some reason, my camera was <laughs> off. Listen, I'm going to mute you guys out there while you're doing this. Uh, because I've got... Raise to... your hand, John, when you're ready. Yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, we've got uh, Jeff uh, muted right now. So, so how you doing, Alex? Okay, I'm, I'm fine. Well, up until now, I was fine. What, what Larkin, what, what's your problem? Larkin? He's muted. He's muted. Yeah. And he doesn't have a camera. Among yeah. other things. So yeah. what's the use of having him there? <laughs> can, you, can you hear me? Got a, we can hear you. It's it's in my security thing. It's uh, I don't know what happened. It's weird. What do you mean your security <laughs> thing? It should allow you to use your video. But I uh, okay. <laughs> zoom. Yeah, it's clicked. I don't know. It's it should. I'll take another card, Robert. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me see here. Well, I can't. Maybe I, I gotta leave and restart my computer. Maybe. I yeah, don't know. yeah. Try that. Try All that. Right. Send us a postcard. Okay. And and what happened is are, are we if we got is Jeff got his problem solved? Because if you do, turn on your your mic. There One you. can't turn on the camera. One can't turn on the. There mic. There you go. Hello, Jeff. <laughs> what do you mean? Say, say, how to work a say web, something. You know. You know? Maybe one night a week we should devote to like a computer program. Yeah. Well, well you know something. When you, I mean, I like to good now, mash Jeff. your computer. Like tonight, I just wanted to get the video going good, and uh, I did some stuff, and I probably got to turn it back to the way it was because uh, it's not uh, it's not doing what it should do or doing it the way it should. But uh, anyway, I'm okay now for some reason in. In uh, not Skype, but in, in Zoom. Let me see here. Here comes Larkin again. We will hope and pray. There he hey, is. There we go. Yay. <laughs> oh boy. It, any by the way, on. anybody else who has any problems with your computer tonight? Come on. Give us a call. Come on. Yeah. My hard drive's dying. What do I do? Yeah, yeah my hard drive's dying. What should I do? Well, uh, yeah. You Get should. a new hard drive. Thank you. Right. Exactly. So anyway, well, shows shows out of time. So uh, yeah, yeah, that was yeah, fun. yeah, yeah. That was uh, that was good. And it, it, it's it's time for us. To, well, it does it does we it does is a way of passing the time on this program. There you go. And you know, I always found that whenever we have technical problems, my numbers go up. <laughs> no, people like to see you having. You know, it's like they want to know that you got worse problems than they do with their computer. I think your numbers just went up because Phil's not on anymore. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, Cuomo did this. Cuomo did that. Oh, come on. Lay off of Phil, okay? Oh, I was telling why? Marjorie tonight. Marjorie goes, oh, that Phil. Oh, that Phil. You know, and I went, you know, Phil's a nice guy. He is a nice guy. You know? He is a nice guy. I mean, I'm sorry he's a nice guy. I wish he were a prick so I could hate him. <laughs> you know? Nice. Uh, it, I, it, but he, he is a, he is a good guy. The only thing wrong with him is this pol political thing. You keep the politics out of it. He's he's good to go. You know. Yeah, that's why when I hang out with him, we don't talk about any politics. Yeah. So anyway, you know what I bought? Well, look at what I got. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I, I, maybe I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put it together for you. But, uh, <laughs> nice. I look at what I got. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, that's the green screen. That's my uh That's my green screen. All right. So, so I have a question and that I've been simply dying open to it ask. up and it uh, it's on uh, telescopic uh, on this telescopic thing and it just you just pull it right up and it you were good to go. All Robert right. has a question. Great. I've been dying to ask this question for a week now. Yes. So, I know you're I know you're a gadget guy. 
Alex. Well, you I was. I was. I'm not as much any longer, but go ahead. Well, you still sound like one to me, to okay. be honest. A nerd, because I think. My is question what... is, now you have this green screen. Mm -hmm. What do you do with it after? Like, what What are you planning to use it for? For production. I, I for, for production to... of stuff other than this. You know, oh, okay. I, I'm not going right. to I'm not going to bore you guys with uh, using it, you know, so. You know. I, I guess when I heard you say you bought it, I thought to myself, if I sat here for a week, I couldn't think of a single thing I would do with one if I had. Well, because you, you don't do video production. No, I don't and see. You do, and so, I do. Okay. So that's okay. and I and I've. I, I ordered one about a year ago, and they never got it to me. And uh, so I gave up on it. And then I, when I decided I wanted to buy them, there you couldn't find one in stock anywhere. So then finally, uh, they, at a good price. And uh, finally, one at a good price happened. And uh, I went and got this thing, you know. And it, it, I tried it today. It works fine. You know, it, the only trouble is I have to have it close to me here and I have to have a close up on me because uh, it doesn't f take care of the full field of view. It's, it's wide, but it's not that wide, you know, so. Okay. Whatever, you know. Hey, I have an interesting statistic that I heard that Did, might be the source of good conversation. Wait a minute. Ha, we don't have any technical problems now? Are we all taken care of? I Is everybody? I'm afraid not. Your numbers will go down now. Oh, I see. They actually, no, they've gone up finally. I guess people, oh, okay. you know, once you started talking. Yeah, well, that fucked everything up. No. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so here's the, the statistic that I heard that I found fascinating. Okay. Um. I listened to a guy who, it so happens, is the chair of the Republican Party mm -hmm. in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And he said on national television yeah. that 15,000 Republicans in the state of North Carolina mm -hmm. have changed their voting affiliation to independent since... January 6th. I heard that actually there were numbers on Republicans becoming Democrats that were quite mm. high as a result <clears throat> of that particular action. Um, but I'm, it's interesting to hear independent, you know. Uh, well, because they, I, it, it, what it tells me is something I said on the show a while ago, it kind of supports the notion I had that a lot of people keep saying, well, you got to understand Trump's got 74 million votes. Trump's got 74 million. No, he doesn't. I've been saying this and I'll continue to say it. My brother-in-law mm -hmm. doesn't like Trump any more than we do. Okay. But he would rather have his balls cut off than vote Democratic. Democratic. Yeah. That is not. He's one of the 74 million votes, There's a knife. but he's not a Trump supporter, you know? Yeah. And I think there are probably of those 74 million, a goodly number of people who are in his shoes. And that's why I think people that are running scared of his base may be overestimating the power of that and that they're looking for the Mitt Romney-ish kind of Republican once again. Well, that they I, you know, I think I think I, I think this is why McConnell has taken a stance against Trump, is because he sees the future of the Republican Party and it's pretty grim, and yes, he wants as, to stop. As it currently states. he wants to stop that exodus, and so yeah. he's now saying what he's saying about Trump, which I wish he would have said a year ago. You know, of but course. then again, while Trump was doing disgusting things, it wasn't as disgusting as what went on on the 6th. Mm -hmm. OK, and I think that gave him the excuse to suddenly say he's pretty terrible. Now, here's the thing that bothers me. Marjorie was saying to me, well, I still don't like that goddamn McConnell. Why didn't he talk up before? And I'm going, you know, you should when people act badly, you should yell and scream at them when they do something right 
give them some credit for that because you, you, by not giving them credit for it, you're saying to anybody else who wants to do the same thing, well, it doesn't matter what you say, these people are going to hate you anyway. And McConnell in the last couple of days has been acting, I think, pretty decently. And, and um, he wrote a thing in the Wall Street Journal today. I didn't get to read it, but I understand that he just, he took Trump to the woodshed. You know, but that he feels... I, he I, fe I, I won't give him credit for it. And, and here's what I will say. Mm -hmm. Mitch McConnell, if I'm going to give him credit for anything, mm -hmm. is about as nimble a politician as there's been in America in years. Oh, there's no he question goes about which that. Which way the wind blows best for him? Yeah, but here, here's the question. You know, I mean, first of all, I think he's doing what he's doing because he doesn't want a, a exodus of people who are donors, who it looks like if they don't do what he's doing, uh, they're gonna they're gonna start. You know, you get you know what I'm saying. So he feels he has to save the party. Now, yeah, now. And what went on on the 6th was so audacious and so terrible that he, he, I think, couldn't stand by and make that be Republican values. I honestly don't think that's what changed it for him. I think now he feels safe coming out and saying what he's always felt. But a year ago, he couldn't because it wasn't politically expedient. Well, That's it, the point it, I'm it, making. It, it, it wasn't ex politically expedient or it wasn't uh, politically um, good for the party. Well, that, that's the same thing in my view. Well, the, but uh, that's what I mean when I say expedient. And now, because Trump is out of power, he's freer to try to go toward the middle more mm -hmm. in order to kind of play both sides of the street. Mm -hmm. You know, like he didn't exactly excoriate Trump totally and said, you know, he's a private citizen now and this and that to kind of throw a little something to his base. Mm -hmm. But yet he's tr trying to win back that middle of the road Republican who's been turned off after four years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that, you know, I mean, I uh, all I'm saying is uh, I applaud him for what he said in the last couple of days. Good job, you know. And here I am, I'm out of sync again, so I have to go back <clears throat> to that other camera. This is just driving me batty, okay? Anyway. You know, I, Short first, trip. I first listened to him mm -hmm. giving that speech that he did. Yeah. And... I'm listening to it and I go, what the heck is going on here? Is there something wrong with the computer? Yeah, that's what I thought too. I was like, why didn't he say yeah. this earlier? Look, look, could, like a, look like a robot. Minute. Do I have the wrong face? Okay. <laughs> is somebody <laughs> else doing this? Sounds, he sounded like he was uh, one of the uh, Democrat uh, yeah. house managers. <laughs> but yeah. hey, did you hear about the guy... Uh, he donated two and a half million bucks to uh, one of these organizations that was going to um, find out the, uh, you know, the uh, the fraudulent votes. This organization called True the Vote, and mm -hmm. they were going to go and you know investigate where the fraud was. And uh, the guy, the guy, you know, he must have been rich, but he, he, you know, he didn't get any information. They weren't giving him any information, so he said, "I want my money back." So now yeah, they're right. stealing it. Good luck. Yeah, yeah. It makes me think, man. I want to get into that right wing money raising. Those people are <clears throat> gullible as hell. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but uh, uh, you know, yeah. Who would give two this, million? There, there used to be a Republican guy. I think his name was Lincoln. Yeah, once upon a time. That yeah. A what, what happened to him? I mean, come on, nobody. It didn't, I don't it didn't know what turn out well for him. No. I think that was a different party. <laughs> yeah. It, it yeah. didn't end up well. No. Uh, yeah, I think that'd be, I mean, it, it's an interesting situation. It, it, if Trump were to have this other party that he's talking about, mm -hmm. but I mean, it, it'd be really interesting to see a poll right now, way too soon for 2024, but it'd be really interesting to see how those votes do split up. There's so many thoughts of, the party and mm -hmm. people like, like Robert, like you said, I have that feeling too. Sometimes I think that, yeah, a huge percentage of these people 
hate Trump, but they got to vote the party. But then there's that 70 some odd million that you what piece of that pie does he truly have with those flag waivers? Are, and that's what are those his only of. flag waivers? Yeah, so that's, it's it's really interesting, which would be good for Democrats because they would split the vote. Oh, sure. Which would be yeah. lovely. Yeah, yeah. have and fun. Have Kanye, have Kanye yeah. get in there yeah. too. Right? So yeah, it's a really, really interesting thing, you know. Well, idea. because if you're a Republican, you got in a way you're forced to play poker here. You know, yeah. like you're forced to bet. Well, let's see. Do I try to get the Trump vote? And, or is that not enough? It hasn't been enough, you right. know, or, or do I kind of creep toward the middle of the road more and become yeah. like a Romney-ish, John McCain-ish Republican? Yeah. Or does that alienate? And how, how big is this sector of Trump's actual number? Yeah. And so it is. It's like playing poker and dr- trying to decide when you go all in. It's tough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, and you know, is that an age thing too? Like more, you know, like the, maybe the older Republican type people would stay with that party where you see like, you know, and the, and the, the capital thing, you know, you see a lot of younger people that are just like gung ho, you know, and would they split the vote that way too, or area or yeah, just very interesting. Very interesting. Mm And Alex is just worried about his camera. No, I'm just trying to figure everything out. You know, I'm, I do the show, and I have to also fix things at the same time. So. Ooh. My face too bright now? It looks you a little You look different. marvelous. Hmm? Looks different. Yeah, yeah. But if I go back to the other picture, it's like, you know, it's, it's screwed up, so. Uh, I, I don't understand. It's it, it it's something with uh, the camera talking to uh, Zoom. It doesn't uh, not Zoom. It doesn't seem to like uh, being in Zoom on in the, its current form. So I don't know what it's all about. But I give up. You Are know. you on your 4K camera now? No. If I go to the 4K camera, it's when mm-hmm. I do this, and there we go. See, that's the 4K Ooh, camera. That's nice. Yes. You look better on that one. Of yeah, course. I think so too. That's the very expensive oh, yeah. camera, but after a while, it goes out of sync on Zoom. On Zoom, it doesn't go out of sync here in the system. Update but, the software, maybe? No, I don't think that has anything to do with it. I think I can't. I'm trying to send. I'm trying to send this thing out at a higher rate than I have mm. been, and somehow the system will take it. For instance, if I show people just my 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 little face here. See, my stuff is in sync and everything else. Uh, there's uh, really not a problem. Uh, yeah. But then I go back to here, and already it's out of sync. I raised my hand, and uh, it's late coming up. And you can see I'm completely out of sync. So mm. I have to go back to this other thing and oh, yeah. the other camera, and I'm okay. All right? So. Yeah. Who knows what it's all about? I give up. Mm-hmm. You know, because just before you started saying you had problems, it was weird. It looked like a ghost. You sort of went like in this motion. It was weird. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, uh, I uh, I just I just I don't know. I'm just uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I I'm giving uh, I'm giving up on all of this. It just doesn't. Uh, let me see here, and I can also bring this uh, zoom me in a little bit. Maybe that'll make my uh, yeah. my. Uh, uh, thing a little better here. Let me see here. Where, where where are we? Here we go. So Jeff, are you guys gonna start getting a big storm up there? You guys already had yeah. the storm, or is it still coming? No, well also? today was absolutely gorgeous. It was really. I went out and took. It was almost fifty. It was. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean it's like forty. Yeah, it was really it was really nice here today. Beautiful, very nice. like a big walk. Yeah, first time I really yeah. took a walk in weeks. One of my friends who watches the show all the time is in New Jersey, and mm-hmm. yeah, he says like Thursday, I guess Thursday and Friday it's coming like eight to ten inches or something, or feet, yeah. whatever. Yeah, huge feet, inches, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> well, we had a lot of snow, but uh, today everything is kind of melting a little bit, you know, mm-hmm. and you could hear the water running like. All over everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I think Pam told me in two days we're going to get. Yeah, it's going to freeze again. Yeah. What are you um, gonna do? By the weekend, we're getting a big another big snowstorm. You could yeah. move to California. 
Hmm? Jeff. You, Jeff asked, what are you going to do about it? I said, you can move to California. When it's 30 degrees outside, I'm freezing. <laughs> Did you guys see the temperatures around the country yesterday? That like Santa Fe, New Mexico is 12 degrees. Yeah. Dallas was, was nine. Houston yeah. had to close the airports for shitty weather. It, yeah. it, it's ridiculous. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, I know a couple of us have been in the Midwest at different times. Mm hmm. It's brutal there sometimes. In the Midwest? And stuff like that. I don't know. I call what you're in right now brutal. Yeah. In New York. It's not so bad. Yeah. Well, you come from New Jersey where it's just as bad to me. Yeah, it's not it's it's not that bad. It really isn't. No. No, we, we're able to drive hours after it falls. Truly. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because we know how to handle it. You know, like not if like you go to Dallas, they don't know what to do when they get an inch or two. But here, you know, it's it's not that big a deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm concerned about. Like Texas, when they have a power outage because of cold weather, I don't know if those guys know how to repair or what, what to do. Yeah. Or transformers right. freezing up or what, right? So, yeah. It's, it's outside their limits. Mm -hmm. For yeah. driving, for tires, have... oh, yeah. four wheel drive versus two wheel drive. Brian, Brian, do you have a and, light? That's and no seen? experience. That's the no. biggest problem. Right. What happened to uh, Trucker Steve? He's. <laughs> Him he and the dog had to go potty. He froze. Uh, oh, there he is. He's back again. I, I, I thought he was frozen. Uh, California, right when it rains the first day, there's a little oil on the freeways. Then nobody knows how to drive. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> that's true. The worst. That's the true. worst. Accidents everywhere coming back home. Absolutely. Uh, they couldn't uh, handle the well, snow. But you see, Californians don't know from ice and snow and all of that. And right. and on top of that, you had a lot of these states uh, in the last week that are states that are not ready for snowfall. Yeah. In yeah, other words, right. they don't have they don't have trucks. You know, they don't have stuff to you know here we've got you know salt and the, 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 you know as soon as the snow comes out i hear the trucks going down the street scraping the uh scraping the snow away yeah. uh and and so you know and if if the city doesn't do that they're in big deep trouble because absolutely. people go absolutely berserko we don't have that yeah. problem in california hmm? we don't have that problem in california <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah, when you my, so my when you get when you get when you down. get snow in California and and we have on occasion when I was a kid I think we we all got crazy when there was like a half an inch of snow on the ground or Absolutely. something and we went out there really fast before it melted you know yeah. um, uh, but then I you know I came to New York and and in the last couple of years we really haven't had big snowstorms. Um, no. not like I remember when I first came here, I remember one storm in, uh, in the, um, in the seventies that was just unrelenting, you know, I just turned off something called hardware acceleration and now I'm just fine. Oh, are you ready for that? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Nice. There you go. I don't think I, <clears throat> everything's fine. I, I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm in sync. When I was a teenage -er, and in New York, mm -hmm. and it snowed, this was a great time because it was money time. It was money sure. time. For a teenager. Sure. Oh, oh for whatever. doing the uh, snow stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, the snow in front of a lady's house, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Your buck or two, yeah. I can't remember. Well, uh, Shecky has a, one of these snow things, snow blowers. But if it gets yeah. really bad, he's got a neighbor next door who's got a, got a super duper snow blower. And this one is just, you know, it's just incredible. I, uh, I couldn't imagine living there without a snow blower. Talk about heart attack or back breaking. Oh. Moving all that snow at, at our the, age. The greatest, uh. the greatest amount of heart attacks. Are, really? are from people sho shoveling snow. I had an uh, uncle who died shoveling snow. Wouldn't surprise me. 
You know, he went out, shoveled snow. Door. Next thing you know, he keeled over, and that was it. And I, I don't understand because wouldn't shoveling snow be exercise? Exercise, yeah. Yeah, yeah but it's too much. All wouldn't that at be one. great cardio oh. for you? Well, yes. you, like like Robert says, you don't you don't do it all year long, so yeah, it's, it's all, at once. all at once. You're out of shape. Yeah. Well, you can I mean, uh, throw snowballs. Yeah, like Phil should not yeah, shovel so. snow now. Oh, oh yeah. no, you know, because he no. was he was coming close there with the. The He's heart been that way for a month. I've been on him. Go see the doctor. Go see the doctor. Oh, really? Yeah, so he finally got a treadmill set up, or they did a treadmill last week, but they didn't do it with a, with a uh, contrast. <clears throat> and then he wasn't feeling good over the weekend, like he told you. And yeah, he, he went, went back in. He was yeah. not feeling well. Yeah. And it's good that he got that. And so they've, uh, I guess they readjusted his meds, I think is what he said. So, uh, and uh, they did a, a contrast uh, scan today of some sort, and you know said if that he's uh, yeah. going to live another week I'm, or two. I'm saying this for knocking and knocking on wood when I say so. <clears throat> uh, is that I um, now I'm out of sync again? Jeez Almighty! No figuring out what this is all about. I give up. Uh, anyway, let me go back to my other camera for a second. Like a Japanese movie. Yeah. yeah, it really is, <laughs> you know. But once I go to Brian. this, I'm fine. Look, Brian. my sink is just fine. Brian, do you have a do you have a light that's changing in your room? You're very orangish red now. A minute ago, now you're now your natural skin color, and then you're blue. That's now the supplements he takes. My ambiance. Yeah. yeah, that's a nice, very, very nice uh, lighting you've got. There. I have a new tan. camera. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with some of these people. <laughs> I feel better tan in the wintertime, so I like this look. <laughs> it's a lava that's, lamp. Yeah, it must be. I was thinking that must no, have I, been what it I, was. No, we all changed our rooms. Uh, Stephanie and Simon switched their rooms, mm -hmm. and then I got Simon's uh, table and all the LEDs and all this stuff, so I'm trying to adjust all my lights right now. Oh, okay. you, was that a promotion for you, or? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. They got all the drawer space now, so it's like <laughs> well, I'll figure it out. As long as they're happy, we got my new table too. So, so I, as long I, as they didn't want the garage where the cars are parked. Heck no. So I have, oh, have I told you the story about my washer and dryer? Oh yeah, I haven't Parts of it. Oh yeah, yeah. That uh, I I signed up for this thing called Pulse, which fixes things in your house i had somebody uh put a you know mount a camera for me and things like that you know and um um uh, uh it was not a camera a uh, tv set and then i we had trouble with the washer dryer it went started leaking like crazy mm -hmm. so we we had somebody try and fix it about a half a year ago and we thought we had it fixed but we didn't and so he, this other guy comes in and he goes, well, you've got to, there's a leak. See where the leak is? He found the leak and he said, we've got to do something about that. I said, but in order for us to do that, we have to pull out the whole tub and everything and then remove the tub and then get to the, to get the to seal. You and know, he had a hell of a time with the agitator. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so, um, he, um. He said, "Well, we'll go in there and we'll uh, we'll, uh, we'll unscrew the thing in the top." And, put, and he gets into the screw, and he can't get it. He can't grab it. It's rusted, and there's rust there, you know, because it's you know it's a washer. It's gonna rust. So he can't get it because it's it's it, 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 there's no place to grab it and all that. So he's trying all kinds of different things to do it and. It's not working, and it's uh, he can't get it out, and he goes back out, and he comes back a day later, two days later, and says, here, uh, I'm now uh, going to try it with this, and the, the, those things didn't work. So finally he came back, and he said, we're going to have to just saw the agitator and to get to the screw, and he sawed the agitator, the top of the agitator off, and he, uh, he still tried, and it was just not working he finally got it off uh this is what took i would say two hours three hours wow of work that this little thing this is how, nothing it, it nothing. looks like it's brass oh. how could it well rust? here's what it was on the top of it you can't see it but it lost its uh its it place where you would grab it 
And oh. uh, he finally got it out, but now we don't have an agitator, so he's got to go buy us. We have to buy a new agitator for 150 bucks. And if I showed you the agitator, I could show it to you, but Marjorie put it out today for the garbage guy. <laughs> um, it's plastic. It's yeah. a piece of goddamn molded plastic. Yeah. And it's yeah. 150 bucks. Yeah. What for? This, you know how much? This screw. That screw. I looked at it online. How much that screw costs? 29 cents. No, 15 bucks. What, really? What, what is this made out of? I mean, will it blow me? What? <laughs> you know, Even grade 8 or stainless would be only... It's just a that. goddamn screw. And then there's yeah. a collar that goes on it that's another 10 bucks. So are you having to buy the agitator or... or Oh, we're having to buy the agitator, yeah. And and can you install it, or will they install it? Oh, no, it? he has to. But he, he, the, the agitator gets put back in after he gets that whole tub out of there and gets under the tub to put in the seal, right? And I don't know how much the seal costs, but the seal. And then he's got to put the tub that. back on. He's got to put the tub back in. Then he's got to put the agitator on. Then he's got to get a new screw for this, which is hard to find, Okay. He's got to get a new screw for this, and uh, then he can screw it together, and the whole thing will work and not leak. All because he has to get to this seal. So it, let me let me see if I got this. I might be able to get you an agitator cheaper, but it, um, no, no, I no. To... I I found places to get them, and he says no. I already have one on order. What so brand is it? It's it's Richard Air. I know what they cost. I went online. I've seen all the various. Yeah, but I but I have a wholesale connection on appliances. Yeah, well, I, he, you know, this guy. It's too um, late. It's too late. He already ordered. Okay. It, so you know. So I'm assuming the screw that you're holding yeah. held the agitator into the transmission shaft or something like that. Some yeah yeah yeah. And you think they'd use stainless steel? If you'd bought the GE or Whirlpool, it would have been stainless steel. I'm kidding. I don't know. No, the GE and the uh, the GE. There's a GE version of this stackable, which I right. think is probably made by the same people that make the other one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. And, and, and I can't uh, for the life of me. Um, yeah. How long have you had it? Hmm. What? How long have you had the washer? Well, the, the, it, it can't. It, when we moved into the apartment, it was here, so it's been That's here. It, this, <laughs> this thing is about maybe 11, 12 years old. Oh, okay. And and you know everybody would say, well, why don't you get a new one? And he told us, he said these things are so good that he said I've looked at, it. I've opened it up, I've, I'm looking at it, I'm seeing it, and he said there's no reason to replace this. He said this thing would go forever. He said it's just a matter that you know you need a seal there. Uh, and and I I would say probably it would work better than if we bought a brand new one. It would last longer, still mm -hmm. more. So he said, I wouldn't, you know, he says, I'm not saying it because I want the work. He says, I would prefer that you don't have, to, you know, I'd tell you just buy a new one. But there's no reason to buy a new one. So I, I, I see a new feature for the ramble here. I think once a week mm -hmm. we should do consumer complaints and take phone calls from people who have a consumer complaint. Yeah, we listen to them and say, fuck, if I know what to do, next caller. <laughs> That's right. And charge exactly. them twenty nine bucks a piece. Exactly. I think that's a very good idea. I I I, I vote on how many vote for that idea. Yeah, no, uh, 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 no matter what they tell us, the complaint is we say, "What the fuck do we know?" Look, Next caller. I, what I hate these days that really gets to me is the inefficiency of businesses. Like I got a hold of I I I want I wanted to find out from AT and T. My bill, I looked at my bill, and it had a charge there. It said shared something or another. Shared data. Whatever. Something shared. And I didn't know what that was. So I, I, I did a chat because I didn't want to phone them because I didn't want to have to put up with phoning them. I must have been on this chat for an hour trying to get them to just give me a simple answer about what does this thing on my bill mean? And I never got a straight answer. I can't tell you what that means on my bill. They don't know. They, you know, it's a sixty-five dollar charge every month. What's it for? Uh, well, we that's a, that's a secret. Not a that's that's a right. secret here at AT and T. And quite frankly, we don't want to tell. I, you. I like the uh, chat line thing. That's a that's a good idea. The what? Yeah, but I mean, I, I, but it drove me it drove me crazy. 
and and finally I had to do an interview with uh, Bubs. It was my day to do Bubs, and I just finally said, "Fuck you!" You know, I'm through with having. They were turning me over to another person. I'll, I'll turn you over to my other person in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> Call you know, your, just all I want to know is what does that mean on my bill? You know. Call your bank and tell them you have a charge from PayPal and you're trying to find out what it is. Okay. They they <laughs> have such a hard time trying to find out. PayPal yeah. couldn't figure it out. So every time I do a PayPal, I go into my account right when it posts mm -hmm. and I put a note in the memo section so I know what it is because I see these forty dollar charges and yeah. I forget what I bought. Yeah. Well, he, PayPal, mm -hmm. PayPal's pretty good though. I've never mm -hmm. had, I've been very satisfied anytime I've had a problem with PayPal. Me too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, so the, these these chat lines are really good. I got an extended warranty on my last computer, mm -hmm. and it was a Hewlett Packard. And two years into it, I had problems, and I was talking to somebody in I don't know Pakistan or something. Mm -hmm. She says, "Try this, try that." Fifteen minutes later, she has me reformat the hard drive fortunately i had a backup and she didn't ask me to back it up first or anything she says now what you need to do is now that it's reformatted you need to reinstall everything on it and i'm like you should have told me to back it up first oh i just assumed you had a backup <laughs> i Man, said you know the 49 dollars you guys are going to charge me guess what i'm going to dispute that on my credit card because now you've caused me a lot of problems. Well, so. I don't know. I never. I, I always suggest to people that uh, unless it, it, with computers and uh, most things, I say don't get the extended warranty. It's a waste me of too. money. But the only thing when it's not a waste of money is if you have a portable device, like a phone, iPad, uh, laptop. Right. Because those things get rattled around a lot. Oh, yeah. And I'm subject dropped. more to dropping and things like that. Those yep. are the three things I would tell you to get an extended warranty for. Otherwise, forget it. You know. I well, mean, it's it's somewhat of a contradiction in terms, right? Because if you think about it, the salesman spent the half hour yes. telling you how wonderful this product is. Yeah. But then as soon as you fork over the money, now they tell you, well, you know, shit can go wrong. Yeah. I, I remember, I remember, I remember, guy. I remember going to, um, uh, what do you call it, to um, uh, Best Buy and buying something. Uh, first of all, I, I, because I'd come from California and I had a wad of cash. I just want to get rid of the wad of cash because I'd sold my car and I, the guy paid me in cash. So I go in, I want to buy a TV set. I can't remember what it was. And first of all, I want to pay cash. Have you ever tried to pay cash these days? They look at you like you're, the, you're a criminal. Yep. I mean, they're holding every bill up to the light. Yeah. You know, they're trying to figure out what kind of drug dealer you are. Yeah. Right. You know, right. I, I'm sorry. Sometimes I, li I like, I stuff money in a drawer here. I got about four grand sitting in a drawer here. I won't tell the you which address? one. Yeah, You're where? I won't, I won't tell you which drawer, okay? It's hidden, oh, it's hidden away because we had a cleaning woman who stole $2,000 of it once, okay? But anyway, I got about $4,000, $5,000 in cash. So there are things I like to pay cash for just because I don't want to – I just – I feel better about it. I, I've, spent I've it. never wanted hookers on my credit card either. Oh. No, no, that's right. That's right. No. But anyway, here's the point. Uh, 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 well, where was I going with this? I don't know. Oh, paying cash. How oh, paying cash. On oh, 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 so I'm at Best Buy, and so I'm trying to pay cash. And they're going, really? You really want cash? And I say, yeah, okay, well, 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 we don't know how to take cash, but we'll figure it out. I mean, that's really what they were telling me. Yeah. Uh, I'll have to talk to my manager to see how we handle cash. Yeah. I'm going... It's the coin of the goddamn realm for crying out loud. Anyway, yeah, when they do that, the twenties yeah. too. You know, they look in twenties. I'm like, what the hell? But the part yeah. that really got me that as we're walking, the guy says, uh, "You want to get the extended warranty on this?" And I said, "No, fuck no." And he said, "Well, you know what can go wrong with this set?" And then he's telling me all things that can go wrong yeah. with it. And I'm, I, I looked at him and I went, yeah. "I don't want to be upsold." I said, "I don't want an extended warranty." 
But listen, if you don't get the extended warranty and this thing goes bad, you're going to have to pay so much for this and that and the other thing. And I said, I'm going to the cashier now. Between here and there, if one more time you try to upsell me, I'm walking out of this place. And the guy shut up. But, you know, at that point, at that time, I don't think it's true of, of, uh, of them any longer. But it was a time when they were very big on uh, having their people upsell and get some mm-hmm. kind of money out of the upsell. They don't do that anymore. But, man, it was, it was just grueling trying to get out of there just buying a TV set. Yes, uh, Alan. So one one of the things I love is where you're at, uh, where Brian was talking about, they look at the $20 bill or the $100 bill. Yeah. And they take a, this little pin that they pay 99 cents for and run yeah. it across it. And chemically, it tells if it's correct or not. Yeah. The yeah. correct paper. The funny thing is that the bad guys figured out a long time ago that a can of hairspray, you spray the $20 or $100 bill, and the pin won't react, and they think it's real, and it's not. Plus, it's a great I, way I'm for fraud. counterfeit fives. They never check fives. That's you know, right. That's yeah, right. that's why. I can print a million of them. That's right. Well, I think Absolutely. the reason they check 20s uh, is because uh, 20s are the most commonly counterfeited bill. However, oh. however, I go to my bank down here, and... Uh, it tries to give me 50s. And I'm going, I can't cash this anywhere without having somebody give me a dirty look. Right. Yeah. Here's a $50 bill. Oh, my God. You know, they, they, they send it out to be inspected. I mean, it. Here's, here's a tip to counterfeiters. Yeah. If you want to be a counterfeiter and you want to pass money, the place to do it, I've found out just by my experience in life, Hmm. is at a racetrack. Get online to bet with a minute to go and put 200 on a horse and use, you know, use 10 counterfeit 20s. Even if they they have a... You could use fucking Monopoly Even if they have a picture of Mickey Mouse on them, they'll take it. Major major casinos, the same thing. You walk in... And by then, it's too late for them to track it to you. That's right. Major yeah. casino. Hundred dollars on one chips. They give you the chips and they've already put the hundred dollars away. Oh yeah, it's in the yeah. box. In yeah, the, that's right, the box. Camera. Wow. Here's my consumer story from this weekend. Okay. So Valentine's Day comes and I don't give a shit about Valentine's Day. I'm yeah. a romantic guy all year long. I don't Ooh. need homework to tell me when I should be a lover. So I don't pay any attention to Valentine's Day. Except this year, I figured my wife's a little down in the dumps because of COVID being trapped in a house with me and all like so. So I spring for two dozen roses. They're going to be delivered to the house. Nice. And so they show up and we open up the box. Mm -hmm. And of the two dozen roses... One of them is broken off. Mm-hmm. Another six or seven of them have this sort of brown rot on them that's mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. slimy and gross. So I said, you know, fuck this. I- I'm not taking this. I'm calling these people, and I'm going to, you know, give them a piece of my mind. So I call the company, and I say, you know, this is ridiculous. And so the guy's offer what made me laugh. He said, here's what we'll do. We'll send you another two dozen. So I said to him, Listen, Mac, if you go to a restaurant and you get a shitty meal, are you happy if the guy says to you, we'll give you a free meal? You know, like, I don't want more of the same. Yeah. So he says, well, what would be acceptable? So I said, I want a full refund. And I thought, he's never going to go for this. He does. He gives me a full refund that appeared on my PayPal within minutes. Wow. I go back to the room where my wife is sitting and I said, honey, you'll be proud of me. I stood up for myself and I got a refund on the flowers. And she looks at me and says, that means you didn't pay a fucking dime for these flowers? (laughs) What a cheap bastard. I knew knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. You were just going to give her the cash. Instead of saying you got your money back, you could have said, I meant to get you two dozen, but I really only got you 21. Yeah. 
Oh, oh, man. Geez, man, no good deed goes unpunished, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I did. I, I have a regular flower person. That's that's the thing. You get your regular person and it's really good. But and I once I did that one eight hundred thingy and they were terrible. And then they sent an email. Oh, how is your blah, blah, blah. And I said they were terrible. And then they said, oh, here's a twenty dollar off coupon for next time. Yeah. What <laughs> next time? <laughs> you know, I Bobby Slayton, comedian, a friend of mine, used to say that. When you go to a, a, a flower store and you're a guy and, oh. they, and there's another guy there, pretty much you look at him and go, so what are you in for? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, right. I, I often, I, I, <laughs> I, I didn't put it this way, but I used, used to have a, um, I used to have an advertiser, Vermont Teddy Bears. And uh, I came up with the slogan, the Vermont teddy bear one, you want to say to your girlfriend or your wife, I'm sorry I had sex with your best friend. <laughs> How do you like that? You know, you get a woman flowers on a day when it isn't Valentine's Day or anything, just bring in, they're going to, what did you do? What did you do? Yeah, you know, what's going on? Yeah, what, what happened with you? I had one advertiser at... Uh, at uh, Sirius XM. Uh, that was like it was one eight hundred flowers, something like that. And uh, they uh, they were advertising everywhere, and they wanted all of us to do a pitch for them, a live pitch for them. So they sent me to so I could see the product, a bouquet of flowers, and I gave them to Marjorie, and they were all dead. And I went to my. Mm -hmm account executives at the station say, no way I'm doing a commercial for this. And they said, why? I said, because I'm going to put myself on the line saying to my audience, here, buy this product, and then the flowers are going to come dead. I, I, I'm not going to do it. They want to run a commercial on my show with somebody else doing the pitch, fine, but I'm not doing a live pitch on it. And they were very mad at me for that, but I just said, you know, my mm. reputation is on the line. Sure. And what's and if you're if you are this company, you want to when you're sending stuff out, you want to make sure that they're not dead, <laughs> you know, or that they have some chance of living through the experience of being sent to me. Yeah. But we open them up and they're all like dead. We kept the vase, you know. That was about it, you know. So I what I I got my mother last year instead of flowers because mm -hmm. she hates them. She's almost 90. Yeah. I got her a two pound box of her favorite chocolates. Cost me 60 bucks delivered. Really? They were they were stale. On the back side of the box, they expired before the year before. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, almighty. So uh, you know, I I got her a fresh box. I went down and got the money back and got a fresh oh, we're sorry. This must have been on the bottom of a pile, blah, yeah, blah. Right. I really don't give a shit, buddy. Just give me a fresh box or give me my money back, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. Well, anyway, by the way, just quickly, uh, Trucker Steve, what's the weather where you are? Uh, it's been minus 40, minus 50 wind chills through the prairies. Uh, right now, it's minus 3 Fahrenheit. In Nipigon, Ontario. Oh boy, oh, God! Oh, how do you drive in that stuff? Yeah, man. really. Uh, it's cold. Yeah. Well, be safe. Take it. Take it easy. I'm on my way home anyway. I'll be home in a couple of days. Yeah. Well, just just oh, you please. know, don't don't <laughs> rush. Yeah, I'll be home in a couple of days. <laughs> hey, listen. Uh, there, there's home, the, the, there's the theme, and we're all done for here. Uh, it's funny, this other camera, everything stays in sync, so I'm happy for that. Anyway, I want to thank all of you for joining me. Alan, very good having you here. Brian, as always, you know, uh, we've got to talk about this stuff more. The numbers went up sufficiently when we started talking about, you know, so, you know, maybe we found something that we can distinguish ourselves with besides, uh, you know, uh, makeup tips for young women. <laughs> Uh, yes, Jeff, thank you. Thank you uh, to uh, Robert uh, you. Uh, uh, and Natali. Yeah. John Larkin, thank you. I'm glad you got your computer working okay. And Trucker Steve, be careful, will you please? What yeah. happened with Charlie? 
Uh, Charlie's probably hasn't got probably power. Hasn't got power. power. Yeah, I would yeah, I would imagine power. that's his problem. Anyway, uh, st- uh, thank you so much for being with me. Everybody give a big wave goodbye. I'll give you a big wave goodbye back at you. There we go. There they are. And uh, I guess uh, I found a way of making the, uh, the video work by just not using my big fancy camera to, <laughs> to do it. Anyway, listen, uh, we're uh, we're out of here. Uh, Jack Bishop is next. He's here with if if he he doesn't have if he has power, uh, but he's here next over most of this same gab net. He'll be doing uh, the uh, the intersection. I'll see you again tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, be safe out there and wear a mask. Good night, everybody.